Should we fourth it up? May the fourth be with you. Always. Yeah, this card rules. If it wasn't in the pack, I think it'd be on Hex Drinker. Maybe Mystic Confluence. Mystic Confluence got a little bit better with the addition of Gear Hulk. Some good red cards. Yeah, we did a Mud Stip yesterday. That was kind of fun. The deck was sweet, actually, right? Had some nice workshop draws. I have indeed played with Athari. Um, I only cast it once, though. And it was in the game I was already winning. I've heard other people... I've heard other people say that it's nuts. It looks nuts to me. So there's three cards here that I think fit this... Well, there's four cards. You can take Basalt Monolith to juice up the fourth. Demonic Tutor's always pickable. And then there's Teferi and Wrath of God. If you want to do, like, a control shell. Which I think you do want to do. Fourth is just, like, its own thing. I mean, you can put it in aggro shell. You can put it in mid-range. You can put it in anything. Anything. But if you play removal spells, play sweepers like Wrath or whatever, there's a better chance that fourth gets to... That you draw the game out long enough to find your fourth and give it a chance to win the game for you. I do like that Teferi, though. Hard to say no to that Teferi. Gotta kind of decide if we're gonna be blue or not right here, right? Because you could be, like, big mana fucking just borrow shit. Now watch be blue be, like, the most fucking open. Not the most open you've ever seen it. Yeah, Thraven's D's. I'm going to take this Talisman. Take it on Colored Tally. Why not? And now I'm looking at Fractured Identity anyway. Yeah, let's grab Identity. Yeah, I had Fractured Identity in my top 50 cube cards when I did my ra rating, but it was like barely in. Oh, let's grab this Reprieve card, huh? A while back, I, um, me and some friends were talking about like our favorite... Favorite all-time power metal tracks. And this track isn't like really power metal, it's like proto power metal, but this is my this is my answer. Ooh, Grim Monolith. Grim Monolith plays into fourth very well. I'm excited about that pickup. Could be a good mentor deck, huh? Yeah, so here I'm looking at ECD, Containment Priest, Mother of Runes, and Mistress Bobble. A lot of options here. I'd like the ECD better if we didn't already have Fractured, and if we had like some random walkers to rebuy. Bobble could be cool, cool if we end up with balance, just like a card to store and play. I'm kind of leaning towards Priest. Just like hoses some decks. Love that pick, Leafwork. Power Wolf. Power Wolf's fun. I like that Dynamite track. Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if that fucking Beast in Black album is my answer these days. Wow, this pack's insane for me. Teferi, Inferno Titan, and Itali. Yeah, we're gonna Itali. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna play a lot of Power Metal tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to a power metal concert for a few hours. I'm gonna str I'm gonna try and stream at three or or before three. If I wake up, God, if I could wake up before three p.m., that'd be amazing. Because then I could do an early stream tomorrow and then cut off at around eight p.m. Go to my show, have some fun, have some drinks, come back, pass out, and then do the same thing. It's a two day festival thing. I want to do the same thing. I want to skip the beginning of the festival and then show up uh, show up before the the headliner. Miss the miss the long lines to get inside. Get more vintage cube streaming in. Skip the bands I don't care about that much. Check out Unleash the Archers. Check out Wild Run. That's the plan. That's my plan. Uh, Wild Run, not a power metal band, but they're like prog. But <laughs> they're, in, they're in this for some reason. Looking at Cathar Commando. I'm thinking about Thunder Maw. This card's kind of interesting too. Off color talisman. I'll throw this over here. Ooh, the Thraven Wheel. You love to see it. Actually, upheaval actually isn't that crazy, huh? With the Grim Monolith. What was I gonna do? Oh, someone said Power Wolf. Yeah. Mm, that's a fun one. Oh, this goes open with Grim Monolith, right? Maybe I want that. Bone Crusher Giant's so good, though. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, show, so, sob check security, 3553. Three, Thanks, the sob. You did indeed show up in time. We are inspecting the Thrabins. So it costs two less to activate. What's four minus two on the untapped grim monolith? Four minus two is, let's see. 
Oh, it's two. It's two. Okay. So you spend two mana to untap Grim Monolith. And then you tap it to make three mana. And then, oh, 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 you can use two of that three mana to untap it. I think it works. I think it works. I just ran the numbers. I think it works. I guess I'm grabbing Chalice here, huh? I don't need the Gideon. What was it? Last month, someone was like, Caleb, you know you'd have a lot more viewers if you were like 10% less of an asshole. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> I think my response was, you think I don't know that? And then I banned them. <laughs> Not worth, yeah. <laughs> I have heard Mana War, yeah. I think I'm gonna grab this Chrome Mox, huh? Love me a Chrome Mox. Paragon's cool. <laughs> what would those extra viewers be? They'd be like the cloying people that like whine and you have to like apologize to them and kiss their ass. I don't like your attitude, streamer. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, well, if you don't like my attitude. <laughs> Think about this retrofitter, huh? I like the house too. Both could work out. Oh, shit, what up? Omri gifting a whopping 20 subs. Thanks, Omri. Business 2443, congratulations. Congrats to Hagubi. My wiener tickles you. Congrats to Dr. Zikron. What 222? Ryan Nguyen 04. Rex Cat 4. iPod Odd. Hashtag sniped. Zadows, Leobold, Erapi, Slin, Expat Host, Ella Penguin, Don Veneer, Avenger PTO, Dr. Thundercock. The, doc, the good doctor is now a sub. Elevation AV and Trons 3000. Congratulations, folks. And thanks again to Omri. Hell yeah. Thinking about this ancient tomb, huh? Yeah, I'm into it. I am into it. Talisman Bolt wins. They're all good cards. But I'm into this ancient tomb. Mystical Tutor for fourth. It's actually not a bad Mystical Tutor. I'm going to play that fucking... What was that other band I was talking about? That other power metal band? Ooh, Batter Skull. I think Batter Skull's good here. I was talking about them as, like, <laughs> my favorite album. No, not on Lush of the Archers. They have three albums. They're touring with Dance of the Dead. I've played their albums, like, Infinite. Just fucking on repeat. The Beast in Black. That's who. I'm gonna jam that. They always go hard. Oh shit, what up? Is it Tay Tay? No, it's not Tay Tay. Man, I went off last night, huh? <laughs> I checked my viewer numbers though, and there wasn't like a huge dip. There weren't enough Tay Tay fans to cancel me entirely. <laughs> the idea, the idea that the pop music industry specifically is a meritocracy just like blew my brain. <laughs> that's a thing that people could think but you know it's whatever <laughs> people, people can like what they like we, we don't have to go into that here <laughs> Ooh, that Athari card I like this dynamo too I'm not going to be able to see the Athari though and I really want to play with it I've heard that it's a sicken and eh, that Gideon wheel this deck's looking hot <laughs> fair enough J-Dub that also works I'm not choosy. <laughs> so far, the Fractured Identity Splash is looking a little iffy. We got a Coalition Relic, though. I'm going to make Bloom. Is there a clip of the rant? God, I hope not. Yes, I've heard of this sex percent speedrun category. The record's at like eight minutes or something. Is Tay Tay like Tay Zonde? I wish. Tay Zonde. Now there's a talent. There's a once-in-a-generation talent. You can beat that? Well, it's not a it's a it's not a you in your room with yourself challenge. It's a in the game romancing one of the um one of your campaign companions long enough for the um 
for the sexy time. Hey, Soul Ring. Next gonna be fucking filthy. We're gonna do some nice filth here. Uh, I don't think so, fortunately, Blaze it. I think you can, like, literally skip all that stuff. Go in Act 2 and still be romancing. I could be wrong. But the speedrun could include that stuff, too. Who knows? Yeah, actually, I think I started romancing uh, Shadowheart before the Grove party. That's just a night where, like, if you haven't, like, actively pursued someone, a lot of people are going to, like, express interest in you because there's a party going on. The, the ro romance meter is on, but then they, like, crank it up that night. So I love a library, but this Talisman is progress, like, helps me splash this fraction. It's probably worth, right? Yeah, shit. They were just going to see a bunch of fucking sick duels and feel silly about my choice. I almost like this Bitter Reunion. Should I take the Bitter Reunion? I should take the Tri-Land. Two other Talismans wield. Yeah, but blue-white is a more coveted color combination. I don't, if I thought it would, there was a chance it wield, I wouldn't have grabbed it, of course. Man, Solemn's awesome. So Splato. We're doing really well in our playable count. I'm going to take the Solemn anyway. I don't give a fuck. Definitely should be taking Plateau there. Stupid, sexy, solemn. Yeah, right. Gideon did wheel. I don't think it's wrong, necessarily. Not every control deck wants Gideon. And if your aggro deck already has some fours. Actually, do I want Council's Judgment over the Sunbait? The nice thing about Council's Judgment is it can actually answer Planeswalkers. I guess we have Fractured Identity for that. Hello. I feel like this album is too quiet right now. Let me know if that's all right. Yeah, Showdown's fucking dope in these decks, but I'm gonna take the Bloodstained Mire. It is really better loud, yeah. I still wanna hear myself over it, but the record for the day is 3-0, friend. Is Chromox half a land? I treat it as a land. It's in my land pile. Do I have any recommendations for earplugs to use at a concert? Um, yeah, just get musician plugs. They're all pretty good, I think. They range from, like, the uh, 12 or $13 ones that you can get at Guitar World to, like, $30 or $40 for brands that they advertise. But I th my understanding is that they're all equally good, so long as they're actual musician earplugs. They're in within the same range, you know? Hell Yeah! Jesus Lacking. Hell yeah, DJ Murder. Yeah, we basically do have a red deck in our sideboard, huh? We're gonna cut for this Worm Coil engine. Maybe the Worm Coil's the cut. Well, maybe it's Seraph. We might not be aggro enough for Seraph. Seraph also not an imprint for Chrome Mox. Where are Talisman Sitch? Well, I guess the island lets Solemn fix for blue. This is Fraction. Otherwise, we'd have four blue sources. This would be eight red and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve white. I'm just going to do this. And that's 11, 8, and 5. Yeah, we don't really need double red until late aim. Post Solemn, post Coalition Relic. A red right, Red Scorpions? I'd jam that. <laughs> I like that step idea because it has some spite involved. Some very Caleb specific spite. <laughs> Yeah, I was planning on grabbing a planes, but now I guess I want to play identity. I guess we can cycle a triumph now too. Yeah, I just okayed you, Red Scorpion. How bad is fractured on the smugglers? Guess I'm about to find out. Pretty bad, it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I believe, let's get my loot here. Good boy. I'd assume it's normal art lane. Ooh, now they get to time walk. That's a fucking bummer. Their time walk means more too, because they got the one ring going. Oh, but they are win! Alright, game two. I'm gonna save this fractured identity for a fucking ring. <laughs> Are you bringing mastery just for the fraction? <laughs> is that a plan? I don't think that's a plan. This wrath might be bad against them. Maybe the wrath should come out and play some fucking thing. Like a rabble mastering. Play the same card, right? Louis Scooter did loot a couple times. God, can you imagine drawing a grim monolith with this hand? This song's so spiteful. It's so good. My fart! <laughs> Twenty-four hour stream, yeah, yeah. Twenty-four hour stream. I think I can jam it while well, they have recall and time walk and snapcaster. Yeah, I think I'm ready to commit to a twenty-four hour stream right now. Give or take twenty-four hours. We'll see how it goes. This theme of sanity is gonna be fucking awesome for them because my deck's awesome. Yeah, sometime within this next month, we'll have streamed 24 hours. So whatever this thief got, it's better than a Thraben, and it's better than an Armageddon. I mean, I don't think they'd want to play Armageddon, but Thraben's a real card. If we hit an imprint for Chrome Mox, we get a Tali next turn. He just got a 7th pick, Lelia. Nice, that's late Lelia. Game's not looking great. They discarded Shark Typhoon. How good is their fucking hand? Yeah, fair. I think it's a $10 donation, Red Scorpions. To be clear, stips are generally 20 bucks. But I can give you a discount. The spite discount. Hey, Louise Ear Bites, thanks for the 54 months there, motherfucking cube. Well, we've answered a Thief of Sanity. But we're still not looking especially alive here. <laughs> How'd they lose last game? We had tallied into their time walk and the car and a bunch of other shit. You're not worried, not too worried. That Thunder Maw was my fucking card. <laughs> Not gonna board against my own deck here. Maybe Lingering Souls should could have come in. <laughs> You're good, Red Scorpion. Thanks for the extra ten bucks, Buccarinos. I 
The question here is whether we slam turn three solemn or not. Hell yeah, Red Scorpion. Gotta feel a little freeing. What I'm going to do here is Solemn into Armageddon, or Armageddon into Solemn. So that trail end, right? Yeah. Not a bad turn at all. Better school is a great draw, hum. I guess we equip the Zerda. I don't know if a judge can rule that infinite. Oh, yeah. Any loop you do. Any loop you do. You can tell a judge I'm going to do this X times. This has to actually be a loop. You're on board with Zerda now? Yeah. Not surprised. Can we get a dino off the top? No, but that seems good, right? Oh, I didn't even think about the, the last ability. I think my eyes skimmed over it. <laughs> you can just rebuy it. That's fucked up. <laughs> Oh shit, what up? I wonder if I'm supposed to leave a rebel token untapped just in case they can answer it. Tomar Mark says, My friends and I are going to try to draft Vintage Power Cube together for the first time. Any words of wisdom? Uh, good luck. Hope you all have a blast. You have achieved the hardest part of playing uh, Vintage Cube in person, which is getting a collection of people to actually sit down and do it. Yeah, I have a I have a n no drinks on the table rule at my house. Even if the table's clear of all cards, it's a little unintuitive. But where am I supposed to eat dinner? The dinner goes on the chair. <laughs> you sit on the couch, eat off the chair. No drinks on the table. The thing is my table uh it's a gaming table, right? So it's a bunch of like you know, flat pieces held together over a bunch of like deck projects. So even when it appears that the table is perfectly clear of magic cards, there is a sea of magic cards underneath a, a very not waterproof. I don't know. Maybe I need a tablecloth or something. I just don't have people that are over that often. It usually doesn't matter. It is an odd thing to have to explain, though. <laughs> yeah, the minimum that Zerda can make it is one tended panda. So the very last line on the two less to activate ability is this effect can't reduce the mana to less than one mana. So you're always going to be paying at least one for your activated abilities. So Skull Clamp's always going to be one. Zerda has no synergy with it. 
a tarp over your table. I mean, that's what like a rubber fucking playmat or not playmat, but um, they make like plastic tablecloths. That's pretty much what that is. I don't think I'm in any rush to get these one drops in play. I'm gonna fetch out a triome. Just have good mana. Oh shit! What up? Ace is a death. He's already forty-two months. Our relationship has lasted longer than the average marriage. Yeah, the the average marriage stats are so weird because there's a few, <laughs> there's a few fucking, there's a few loosey gooseys out there <laughs> fucking up the averages. Oh, never mind. We're doing stuff now. The people with like nine marriages and shit, <laughs> just like playing hell with the averages. Yeah, the Vegas skew. It'll be going for years, Uthanak. It'll be going for years, I expect. Let me get out one of those times. Hell yeah. I'm going to crack the clue token rather than make a 1-1. One, because one. we find a Zerda, we have infinite 1-1s. One, They're just off it. <laughs> They're just like, nope, not dealing with that shit again. Fuck that. Fuck that bird. Fuck this game. Fuck magic. Uninstalling. Goddamn Phoenix Bird shit. Rebel to token shit. <laughs> Amazing. Remanding my, my fucking three mana two three. Playing that bird shit. Rarely seen turn one saga. The cool thing about Urza Saga here is like not only can we activate on two, but it also gets Soul Ring, so when it dies, we actually gain mana instead of lose it. How many Atalis have I drafted? Uh, I think out of eight drafts, I've drafted like five or six Atalis. <laughs> it's, it's been kind of fucked up. I'm just like, that one again, me, please. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. And then I think we play Worm Coil next turn over Karn. We'll see what our draw is, though. Yeah, almost like Karn drawing here. Because, like, our colors aren't quite there. Wow, Karn would have fucking played around Miscalc, too. Although, getting the Miscalc out of the hand means the Atali's more likely to land. Hell yeah, it is, Jake. Glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, the only thing, the only thing I've been bummed about this Vintage Cube season is, is now I'm not playing Baldur's Gate. The only downside. So that would have kind of my Karn. If I just played Karn, or if I played the Chalice on one. Once had some nice answers this game. Well, there goes fourth. We still have some nice threats. Well, now I'm just jealous, Octaria. Good luck, Cliff. Yeah, it took me 80 hours, but I did not do a... Yeah, I had a nice middle ground between not being super completionist, but still doing, like, most of the main story, and then... I'm following through on my main characters. I think this attack's bad. Next turn, Retrofitter, make a 1-1. One, one. Then I have a 4 for him. This Karn can spit out fucking tokens too, though. Oh, god damn it. Alright, so we need a white source for this Wrath. I guess I can play that one. You need a Rebel to rebuy the bird. You don't think there's Rebels in the cube? Is Mutavolt in here? I think it is. Yeah, I saw it in the Dwarf deck the other day.
So I'm just dead, hum. I guess unless Atali finds me something juicy. The thing is, the tar pit hits me, and then the shieldred trigger finishes me off. This can't get a white source for Wrath to clear shieldred, but it can get a mountain for Atali. So I guess that's the plan. Should have done this pre-combat. I did, Trunks. Block Shelly. Well, the, the they wouldn't serve with it. They would just attack with the tar pit, friends. They wouldn't gift me life when I'm like dead on board, right? It's a weird thing to bet on. They hadn't been making dog shit plays, right? They've been playing well. Deck looks good. Sometimes you're out as the opponent fucking up. I think the out of Atali hitting something sweet is way higher. Opponent had a nice of a curve of answers there, huh? Answering both saga tokens and like countering every spell for like three or four turns. It is another hand, nice hand, yeah. Very similar to our last one. Actually, this hand is like way less gas heavy than our last one. I guess Saga can get retrofitted this time. At least our mana is a lot better than last game. Thopter Foundry? What are you talking about, Retract? Retrofitter? No, Retrofitter, we're dead on board. Again, Tarpet hits you for three. Then Shieldred triggers on your draw step. We were at five life. It wasn't a matter of blocking the Shieldred. The fucking Germ token could have done that, right? It had Vigilance. Hell yeah. Hell no. So, my knowledge of their deck has me thinking that there's a huge chance <laughs> they have a um, counter spell for this Thunder Maw. I kind of just want to serve. Keep activating Retrofitter. Oh, it costs three? Yeah, never mind. Nice. All right. <laughs> Can we turn on Urza Saga three games in a row? <laughs> I feel like some cheaper threats should be in. I almost wonder if this is like a spot where the... Um... I'm just supposed to board in like all this shit. Just get in underneath them. Cut like Worm Coil. Isn't Shieldred good against the Tiny Plan? Yeah, you're right. I better not play any threats ever. <laughs> I mean, I'm leaving in Wrath. Is Batistel good enough without Stoneforge Mystic? Yeah. It's like uh, it's like saying, like, is, Bat is Baneslayer Angel good? And even if you can't, like, sneak attack it in, it's like, it doesn't make any sense, right? Like, obviously, it's nice to tutor for Batistel, but it's a very castable card here, right? We have Soul Ring, Ancient Tomb, Grim Monolith. We have all this fucking fast mana. Literally a colorless Baneslayer. Thinking here. I don't want to cut Gideon, do I? For Rabble Master. Well, this is a little stickier than the other. Maybe I'll cut Thunder Mom. Not sure if I like it over Worm Coil or not. Hey, seems good. Yeah, no shit. I did, I'm boarding in Rabble Master, right? Worm Coil just like, seems good against their disruption, their removal. This is a mole. I can't tell. Fraction's really good against Shielded. It's pretty bad against Vendillion Click. Yeah, this old hand is garbage against Vendillion Click. I think we send this back. Or Thoughtseize or whatever. 
I think I should have been to Canyon here. Should have been Mountain. Yeah, obviously. Black Aggro probably had the largest shakeup. But a lot of bad green cards got cut for good green cards, too. And Boros got some real heaters. A couple of them are in this deck, actually. Gonna give Karn a turn here. If we had a land, we can play it around Mana Leak. And waiting lets us play around um, the counter unless they pay two. Meanwhile, we're activating Retrofitter. Pretty glad they didn't play that and activate. Suck this, sucks that the Sunbaked is our only white source, or I'd love to sack it. Hey, Sugar Bear Honey, thanks for the seven months there. Sh thanks for sharing the Prime. You've been loving the YouTube uploads? Hell yeah. Glad to hear it. Hey, you dude, thanks for 86 months there. 86, not a Prime number. Hey, thanks for that math fact. Little numbers learning. Hey, Drawly, hope you're having a good one too. The Defender is called Concealed Cut. Curtains, curtains. Concealed, concealing curtains. Nice draw, eh? What are you seeing? What are you seeing in the theater? And these are both at Karn now. Yeah, so now I don't have enough blockers for it. Because this one's got Menace. Yeah, and I knew there was a chance this happened. I almost upticked. But if you uptick, then you have like one less blocker anyway. I guess I'm just making a 1-1, one, one, huh? Let Karn die. Something upgrading the Servo Tomb. Interesting card to have in Vintage Cube. This card? Yeah, but I think it's, like, good. I think for, to catch black up with the other colors in Vintage Cube, you kind of just need to add some new cards. I think that was correct. You can't just, like, have, like, Hypnotic Spectre and shit in this. That one, the other colors have, like, Lelia and <laughs> Ragavan. Bullmaster's a nice upgrade. They added the shade that pumps for colorless that also, like, hoses graveyards. Yeah, right, Savory Cookie. Yeah, Misery Shadow's in here now. Pretty happy with that trade. How close is the deck to Companions Zerda? I mean, I'd have to lose Solemn and Worm Coil and a bunch of... bunch of gasoline. Welcome to the Zerda, Zerda show. I 
a bunch of 1-1s. I think your raid is better if you're making 4-4s. Four so it's like 3 power versus 4. Hell yeah, Nightshade Lemonade. Yeah, some people really miss the tunes, but I'm still streaming fucking, like, 8 to 10 hours every day, <laughs> and my, all my playlists are pu public, so. And um, this way, like, a lot of stuff is going to get uploaded that just wouldn't otherwise. It's going to give me a lot more time to actually stream and sleep and be healthy. I think overall it's going to be, like, a huge, huge, huge plus once people get used to it. Yeah, right, Goody Film. I mean, the card I was considering binning was the Sunbaked Canyon, so it hasn't been that big of a deal. Like, I wasn't going to bin the mountain. Yeah, talking about the YouTube videos, Eric Virgo, the uh, the YouTube VODs are all tune-free now, just like regular Magic the Gathering content. Editor uses a program that strips the VODs from uh, Twitch, my Twitch VODs, you know, to have the tunes. But that means that they can they don't have to like deal with me to get the videos. They can just like get them right from Twitch. And then the editor that they use clips out all of the <laughs> I was sent a message. Oh I don't see what it was now. One of the many reasons many reasons I usually just don't have comments on. Back to back trophies though. You love to see it. Oh we have a step. We have a no artifact step. Let me fucking put this in the overlay.